For a symmetric probability distribution, such as a t-distribution, it's possible to test either one or two-sided. So when we calculate a t-value by subtracting the population average from the sample average and divide by the standard error of the sample, this will give us one t-value. Let's say that uh, that t-value is two. Most statistical software packages, however, test two-tailed by default. And so this actually means that the calculated t-value can be found on both the left and the right side of the distribution. Uh, that's visible right here in this graph. You can see both the value minus 2 and positive 2. The corresponding p-value is the surface under the distribution, shaded blue in the graph. If we test two sides, we can say that the p-value consists of a left and a right part, left of minus 2 and right of minus 2, positive 2. The total surface at 10 degrees of freedom is then 7.34%, and this is greater than our chosen alpha value of 5%, uh, which you can see as the red surface on the graph. The left red surface plus the right red surface is equal to 5%, consisting of 2.5% on the left side uh, and 2.5% on the right side. What we can deduce from our graph is, one, that our found p-value is greater than our chosen criterion, and two, that our found t-value lies before the critical t-value. In this case, we would thus not reject the null hypothesis. However, if we choose to test one-sided, we are not actually interested in two t-values, but only in one, either the left or the right value. So suppose we are only interested in the right value. Uh, then the left value, and thus the left surface, the left p-value, is no longer included. The p-value shown in the graph consists of a left and a right part, and that would mean when one t-value is no longer included, the p-value can be divided by two. Alpha remains constant in this entire process, namely at the value of 5%. However, the surface of this 5% shifts, as displayed in the graph. The left alpha shifts to the right, and we also see the left p-value disappear. By dividing the original two-sided p-value by 2, only 3.67% remains on the right side, this blue surface. In this case, we can conclude that our found p-value is smaller than the chosen alpha, and that the found t-value is more extreme than the critical t-value that belongs to a one-sided alpha of 5%. And so in this case, we would reject the null hypothesis.